Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This week we have five stories for you. An unfortunate collision between an A320neo and an airport fire truck. The FAA extending aircraft registration to seven years. EV toll manufacturer Lilly hopes to raise millions from investors. And the hybrid electric eco caravan made its first flight. Let's get to it. Your first story this week is the collision of an A320 and an airport fire truck in Peru. Uh, the A320neo was nearing V1, which is 127 miles an hour for that aircraft, when the truck entered the runway and uh, the aircraft was unable to avoid the truck. Uh, unfortunately, two of the firefighters were killed and one was injured. Uh, there were no serious injuries among the people in the airplane. Uh, it appears that the fire truck was actually doing a drill uh, to determine the driving time from uh, one location to uh, one of the new runways at the airport. The second story this week is the FAA extending registration to last for seven years instead of three. Uh, in a statement, the FAA said the new rule applies to registration and extends the duration of current certificates. Uh, it covers all traditional aircraft and larger drones. Uh, the extension in registration really comes after some folks submitted application for registration five months ahead and uh, the FAA backlog uh, resulted in the registration expiring. Uh, this applies to all commercial and GA aircraft and also a very large drone over 55 pounds. Your third story this week is the EV toll Lilium that aims to raise $119 million. Lilium has partnered with a number of other companies such as Honeywell and Asituri uh, for funding in an effort to certify the Lilium jet. Uh, for this, Lilium is going to need to complete their third demonstrator aircraft uh, that's going to be used for the testing. The fourth story this week is a hybrid electric eco caravan uh, that made its first flight. Uh, the aircraft flew near LA for 33 minutes and reached a maximum altitude of 3,500 feet. The eco caravan is powered by an A03 compression ignition engine that is rated at 410 kilowatt, and it's also integrated with an additional 160 kilowatt uh, motor, and it also has a battery pack. Now, according to the company, the statement at EA AirVenture the engine will deliver twice the thermodynamic efficiency of a comparable turboprop engine, which is actually pretty impressive. Uh, testing during the first flight was primarily or during the, the power testing, and the pilot said that uh, everything performed just as expected. And finally, Lou last story this week is the fact that our Black Friday sale is going on right now. Our uh, private instrument and commercial ground school are each available at $175, and then the checkride course is available at $49. Uh, head over to pilotinstitute.com to sign up. Uh, this is the cheapest that these courses are going to be available uh, all year, quite frankly. Uh, this is the only time of year where we have this kind of discount. So uh, that's it. Uh, you can go back to your food coma. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving, and then I'll see you next week. <laughs>